Hey guys, my name is Layla, and we're talking about pirates for our podcast. Hey, I'm Zan, and I'll be telling you about some of the ways that pirates tortured or killed their prisoners and outcasts. So whoop de doo Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Riley. I'll be talking about how the image of pirates and how for most people it is not how it used to be. You know what's cool? Pirates, the ones that didn't have their eyes poked out, wore eye patches so that during the <coughs> night raid, they could switch the eye the eye patch was on and have night vision in that eye. Benjamin Horngold was a pirate hunter. He was a skilled captain and was the largest pirate faction in Nazu. Then switched to become a pirate hunter, Benjamin was a mentor to both Blackbeard and Sam Bellamy. Most people think of the stereotypical pirates of the Caribbean when they thought of pirates. But most of the time, actual, actual pirates did not talk, live, or yeah, look like this. Pirates did not make, the, make people walk the plank, and most of the time they did not bury their treasure. They did not say phrases like are or mateys, but they did have a specific way of talking. Sam Bellamy was a pirate with Benjamin Blackbeard and Oliver Labuse. They were called the Flying Gang. Then soon after Bellamy and Labuse left, a few months after, then they had their own gang. In the summer and fall of 1716, their gang was a very big in wealth, strength, and numbers. The skull and crossbones on a flag is called the Jolly Roger. Nobody's exactly sure why it's called that. The one of the most popular theories is that uh, is that it stems from jo- Jolly Roar or Pretty Red, which is what the French used to call a red flag, which was used to indicate that no mercy would be shown to anyone aboard the other ship. Hey, Zan here with some gory details about pirate torture. Did you know that the longest used method of pirate torture was called keel hauling? Interesting, huh? This is when they took somebody, maybe a prisoner or a crew member, and put a weight on their ankles and tied a rope around their waist or back. They would then wrap the rope around the ba- about broad side of the ship and tie it to the poor person who was sentenced to this fate. They would then throw the tied person into the sea to be scraped across the barnacles on the underbody of the ship, like a cheese grater. On a somewhat cheerier note, on, <clears throat> while pirates did not conform to ordinary laws, they did usually have a code of conduct, even going so far as to make fighting on board the ship taboo, making people wait till lamb to duke it out. Edward Thatch, also known as Blackbeard, was working with Benjamin Horn and Gold through 1714 to 1716. Blackbeard didn't get to, to command his own ship until September of 1717. He was mostly famous in November 28, 1717. He captured 250-ton French slaver Le Cordo that made him the most dangerous pirate in the Americans. Wow, that's really cool. Also, contrary to the common belief, pirates didn't actually make their prisoners or outcasts walk the plank as much as fiction would like. They would usually just kill them or maroon them on a remote island. When pirates maroon someone, the the typical provisions left with them were water, usually a day's worth, clothing, what they were wearing, a pistol, powder, and shot. So if they wished, they could kill themselves rather than face slow starvation. Although not common, people did survive being marooned, so marooning was a horrible and harsh torture, probably leading to death. But it had that slim shot of hope, which made it that much worse. Thanks for listening. Leave now. Bye-bye. Goodbye.